The last 12 months have been a period of, uh, of recovery for the market and also too for Riviera. Um, we're sitting here on our brand new 53 flybridge which uh, we've just launched at this show. Uh, this has been two years in the making and uh, we've done a, an extensive amount of research with all of our owners around the world to actually produce this boat. The feedback to the, the boat is that it's the best boat that Riviera has ever built and uh, the dock feedback here is that it's the most innovative show at Sanctuary Cove show. So all of that is great feedback um, and the reality is that the sales reflect that. Uh, we hold right now 13 deposits as of today for this boat. So we've got an order book now out till uh, early next year. So that and, and uh, a, a growth in sales across the board from last financial year to this financial year, close to 60%. Uh, Riviera is in a very, very good position going forward. Be going for higher quality all the time. Is that the is that the philosophy? That's a great observation, Mark. Um, with the dollar the way uh, it is currently, we've there's there's two ways you could go. You could cut cost and cut quality, or go the other way. And, and we've decided that that Riviera is perceived as a as a Mercedes Benz Benz type brand around the world and and all we wanted to do was to enhance that quality further and you'll see that in this 53 you'll see it in 61 behind us uh, the quality is the best it's ever been in 30 years the most striking feature of the boat uh, externally is is its appearance uh, it looks like it's doing 36 knots uh, standing still in, in, in the marina berth it's got this lovely shear that uh, sweeps aft uh, she's a, a very uh, high in the bow, so she's a very dry boat, uh, she's an exceptional sea boat and internal volume is unbelievable. Most people think this is a 56 or a 58 footer when you get on board. We've got three cabins, uh, two bathrooms, the master cabin is a full beam uh, cabin running the full width of the boat with walk-in wardrobe and ensuite. It's just a luxury uh, unit in itself. And then um, upstairs in the, uh, in the saloon We've got uh, a, a, a large U-facing lounge and, and dinette together creating a very social saloon, aft galley, a hopper window connecting the saloon to the cockpit and then upstairs through the internal staircase uh, we've got a gorgeous flybridge which is really basically a sky lounge with a, with a dinette that can seat up to 10 people there. Forward helm and an aft docking station. Uh, she is just an exceptional boat and it's a Riviera like you've never seen before. The performance of this boat is uh, just on 30 knots mm. uh, and we're very happy with that. The bulk of our owners are cruising people and not only with the handling ability of IPS and, and uh, the use of space below decks, uh, this boat has an exceptional storage area just forward of the engines because the engines are mounted under the cockpit and it's big enough to have a crew cabin if you want to or it's big enough to be able to put two kayaks and ice makers and everything else that you could possibly want to go cruising and this boat with its fuel economy and IPS delivers up to 30 percent better fuel economy uh, with a full tank this boat will run you to Sydney and probably halfway back to the Gold Coast exceptional cruise range. The Series uh, 2 is a total refinement of the 61 uh, series one at uh, Frank Mulder designed hull. Um, we took the opportunity to relaunch this boat when we reorganized the interior of the boat. Everybody in the market likes the Riviera 70 but she is a big boat and so what we wanted to do was to achieve a pocket 70 feel in 61 feet. So this is a shaft drive boat um, and she's an immensely capable boat, I mean, a, a, a real sea boat. She has uh, a, a number of different accommodation options, uh, three or four cabins uh, with three bathrooms below. The master cabin is, uh, uh, has this beautiful porthole in, in, the, uh, in the hull so you can lay in bed and look out the window, lots of fresh air there. We've moved the galley aft. Again, we've got the facing lounge and dinette forward. Uh, great windows around the front so you've got 360 degree views from uh, from the saloon and upstairs we've just got a glorious comfortable flybridge. She's a true long range passage maker and last night we officially launched both these boats here at the show with 450 people and 
and uh, the owners of the 61 are just ecstatic. It's, the boat is beyond their expectations and we're helping to deliver them their cruising dreams. The global financial crisis has certainly impacted on the global boating industry and Riviera was not immune. Uh, fortunately, being in Australia, our market has been a lot more resilient than many other markets around the world. But when the banks started to collapse in America, there was this great uncertainty in, in the boating world and uh, finance became a big issue for many dealers internationally and for clients. And so when the GFC hit, we had a, a fair amount of stock that was owned by dealers around the world that, uh, that had to be sold through. So we decided that we would turn down the factory production to be able to allow that stock to be sold through. And I'm very pleased to say that uh, we've reduced our global inventory from around 100 boats two years ago to less than 20 today. And through that process, we're now starting to build more new Rivieras. Last financial year, we built 50 boats. Um, this current financial year, we'll build almost 90 new boats. And next financial year, we're budgeting for 30% growth. We're sitting here at the Sanctuary Cove show um, on this brand new 53 flybridge. Uh, so far at the show we've sold nine boats and they're all big boats. Um, it's an exceptional result. It's very gratifying for the investment and for the commitment and time of, of every single, single one of our 400 staff that uh, have stuck by us through fairly challenging and difficult times. And it's a sweet victory now to be able to come to this show and achieve this level of sale. In fact, we're looking for people right now. You are? Um, we have over 400 people at our Coomera facility right now, and uh, we're actively recruiting more boat builders. Uh, we've got a good, solid order bank right through to the end of the year. Uh, we need people to help us build boats now.